Now security improves in Mogadishu and much of South Central Somalia. Hospitals are seeing fewer victims of violence than before. Doctors say more and more patients are coming in for elective surgeries and to seek treatment for normal illnesses. Rupert Gogineni reports for VOA from the Somali capital. For over 20 years, the Medina Hospital in Mogadishu has treated the victims of Somalia's war. With the biggest emergency care facility in the city, Medina serves as a referral hospital for trauma and surgery cases from all over South Central Somalia. The hospital can admit up to 300 patients at one time. But Mogadishu's newfound peace, secured by African Union forces who pushed Al-Shabaab militants out of the city in 2011, is changing Medina's caseload. Dr. Muhammad Youssef says the number of patients arriving at the hospital for treatment of war wounds is declining. And, you know, Medina, you can say, you can use as a thermometer. How is the temperature of the security in the city? Because every person who gets injured by bullet or shelling or hand bomb or landmine, usually they transport them to this hospital and we treat them. Hospital Director Youssef says war wounded patients once occupied 95% of Medina's beds. Now, he estimates, the number has dropped to between 70 and 80%. But insecurity lingers and gunshots ring out nearby. No, this is unusual. Eh? <laughs> but it's just to remember that we are in Mogadishu. More and more patients are coming to Medina Hospital for elective surgery or for treatment of medical problems such as cancer or hernias. In the maternity ward, Shukriye Malo has come to deliver her seventh child. I live far away and was not expecting to come to the hospital. The baby was in danger, so they took me here to deliver through an operation. Obstetrician Nima Abdi Hassan has been caring for Shukriye Malo, who traveled over 300 kilometers to reach Medina. Not long ago, such a journey would have been impossible. Before the, before the, before Al Shabab. I think they had checkpoints, so people were afraid to come to the hospital at certain times. But now, since the government has reached every place, I think part of Somalia, the, the security has, uh, yeah, it has improved. So I, I think the accessi accessibility is much better now. Though the growing peace has improved access to health care, Dr. Hassan still faces challenges. We don't have well-equipped ICUs, the intensive care unit, to treat patients. So I think that is the gap that's missing, that's most needed right now. As Somalia stabilizes, the country's health care demands are shifting. Rupa Goganeni for VOA News, Mogadishu.